you explain to me how that works? A guy like him comes in, changes his whole outfit right under your nose, and you don't even ask him about it? Our customers are free to dress however they please. What grounds would I have to question him? <sighs> okay, fair enough, but didn't you think it was just a little bit strange? Well, maybe I did, but it still doesn't give me the right to stop him. Enough. Let's tone this down a little. I'll make this quick. Just one question. What did he buy while he was here? Oh, he didn't buy anything. He just picked up a bottle of liquor that he ordered ages ago. A bottle of liquor? Yes, a very strong kind. Fiery, with a rich flavor. Not something the average customer would order. He's fire water, this isn't gentleman he? ordered it in person from us a long time ago. He was only here today to pick it up. Liquor and wineware. I see. Let's go. Where to? Shigu Antiques. Hey, Miss Lin Long. Sorry to bother you. Jur E ordered a wineware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is with the quality, considering how affordable it was. So we just had to come and take a look for ourselves. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jur E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jur E picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just so you're aware, we don't have many of this model left in stock. And now that Mr. Jur E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry, price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jur E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jur E but two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yelon, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, there's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinyue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jur E isn't much of a drinker. On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. Now, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jur E's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status. Hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now where might we find Fatui who match that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnyan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yelan, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! 
So we just need to find out who drew ye bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Jur E is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Jur E might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Jur E may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. If I'm guessing correctly, Fatui officials are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yensheng Tea House. Perfect timing. When Yuan just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingxu Pool. Qingxu Pool? That's the place Jerry mentioned in his manifesto! It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice, I'll give them that. Qingxu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no, we gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. This is Qingxu Pool, full of ruins, crawling with monsters. Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. There's been some work done on this place in the past. But it's a bit of a labyrinth inside. I can't guarantee we'll be safe once we're underground. The workers left an emergency access route. If we can find it, this will be a much easier journey. Still, be ready to fight at any moment. Any resistance needs to be taken out quickly and quietly. We don't want to attract too much attention. Don't worry, we're all professionals here! By the way, Yelan, where are your three little helpers at? They have other things to take care of first. We couldn't afford to wait for them, but they'll join us later. <laughs> Gutsy. With my blade. Bust it. As I expected, but this shouldn't be too much trouble. Okay, let me check something on her. Eighty two for some reason. No, bless again.
This is the construction worker's emergency access route, but it's closed tight. Trying to break through would be risky. Let's see if we can find another way. Come a little closer. Game's up. From Silver. Look how swift and merciful. Yep, this is five stars. Genuine. Can you imagine how it'd be if we actually have two of them? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share? Let the show begin. Take it easy.
waters flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. Oh boy. Busted. <laughs> These are about to get dicey. <laughs> From whence you came? <laughs> to the chasm now? Mmm. I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on. Bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. Sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. <laughs> You'll get there. If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <coughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together when you were poisoning your teacher's soup. Say what? Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. <laughs> sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away at home for a few days because I was so scared of getting caught. Look, I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. But, oh, I have to say, you really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine, but you found a way to turn it into an imperceptible, slow-acting poison and came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. Okay, I guess I was kind of right. He's evil. Although, I think there's a difference between poison and energy drive. That was kind of the reason, right? Like, some, could anyone notice that he's poison or something like that with time? What was it you said? Oh, oh, yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. How did you think of that? It struck me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Did you hear that? It's all 
Jiri Yi's doing. What a nasty guy. Seize him! Hold on. Did you bring a camera? If not, you can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Oh, you... How come are we not gonna use the camera, Jimmy? Excellent liquor. We've, uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. It's been a real headache for me. But soon, everything will be taken care of, and I can report back on a successful mission. Thank you, Jiri. Yi. Ah, <sighs> I remember when I first saw you. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey. Do you still remember what I said to you? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner like me could never be seen as a serious candidate for the Tianshu, no matter how hard I work. The only way is for you to shine bright in the Tianshu's darkest moment. I think you were absolutely right. Yes. Under normal circumstances, the gap between you and other people could only ever grow wider over time. Just look at your two competitors. Chen Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. But you? You had nothing. You were just another nobody. And that's why I decided to help you. You know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Give a starving dog a bone, and it'll guard your home for the rest of its life. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for your generous support. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about you is that you do as you're told without complaining. Hey, keep up the good work, and I can assure you, you'll never have to worry about Mora again. Uh, heck, when you're not in the company of the Fatui, you'll be able to throw your weight around as much as you want. How about that? Uncle Gao said that Jur Yi has low self-esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time, so the Fatui persuaded him that he should act while he can. Do you have any more film in the camera? Then get ready to use it. Tonight's grand finale should be coming up any minute now. How well this goes for us depends on how Jur E plays his hand. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Hmm, go on, fill me up. I'm in a good mood today, and I'm gonna drink my fill. Mm, make sure to get me home safely afterward. There's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, I can bring you some more next time. Ooh. Mmm, oh, this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> what the? <coughs> 